Pretty good. Good. It's good to see you. Good, good you to see that? you. Huh? I'm good doing to good. see you. It's good to see you too, brother. Always good to see you. Always. <laughs> oh, seriously, man. You know, I'm really happy to, you know, get to kind of work on these projects with you, my dear friend, and, you know, drive something innovative, you know, across the board. Okay. You know, while Paul is kind of finding his computer. That's Paul. <laughs> no, he Let's... is trying to find his mouse. <laughs> he's trying to find the mouse. <laughs> he, he, he's actually like the amount of uh, work he put into the Odata Neo project. You know, he works on this project like, like it's his daily job. Like how much dedication the open source community is putting into these projects. It just shows you what engineers' hearts are really truly made out of, you know, because yeah. nobody's going to put that amount of effort. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's heartwarming. It's, it's hard work. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so, the community will value from his hard work. Yeah, yeah, a lot of value. And, you know, it's <laughs> quite to see, you know, this is, this is the most beautiful thing about this whole project is that we get to show the world, you know, how amazing some of the engineers are because a lot there's a lot of good engineers out there they just don't have the opportunity right they don't have the opportunity you know to the chance to just show what they're capable of and what they can do which is uh, quite unfortunate but we're trying to fix that okay, okay my friend we are on we are on different time zone you yeah. look you look you look like uh, in a summer and look like in a winter. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know, are, it's a little in the same time zone. <laughs> it's, it, it's a little chilly in the office today, but uh, not too chilly. It's, it's all right. Mm. It's it's tolerable. You know, I I can I can live with that. Okay, let's see here, my dear friend. Um, let's see where we're at. We're just gonna add some. Uh, hey, Etienne. How's it? <laughs> Sam, Sam, have you met Etienne yet? Yeah, no, it's my first time. Hi, nice <laughs> to meet you. Etienne is is a software engineer mainly focused on game development. He's from South Africa, and uh, him and I have been kind of driving some sessions to uh, develop uh, games in Unity. You know, uh, following the engineering standard. You know, you know, a standard. You know, so um, <laughs> we, uh, Etienne, Etienne is super excited about the standard. He wants to see what it looks like. You know, if you apply it to games and you know game development, and he wanted to see, you know, how far we can take it. So it's a nice journey that him and I are kind of kicking off on the side. You know, you know me, Sam. I got my hands and my fingers in so many pies, right? So, so, so okay. So, so let's get started, guys. You know, let's let's, uh, let's do the best of this. So, uh, the last time, you know, we had the, I think we had the happy path out of this. So let's see, this is O expression generate. Let me sync this up. Let's do this. We have a, a, a draft PR open for being able, we, we just need to finalize the O query uh, service. You know, if we get the O query service done, you know, then we are ready to kind of actually, we're just, we would be one step away from uh, shipping our very first alpha release, which is a huge, huge milestone for the team and this project. I'm, I'm really excited about this. So let's see. Oh, query. There it is. <clears throat> okay. Let's get latest from here. Tell me if the code is too small or, you know, and Sam, pop up your visual studio. You're going to be writing some code today, you know. <laughs> so let's see. So, Let me open the Visual Studio. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of important. You gonna? <laughs> <laughs> but first, make sure I can find the button. Yes. <laughs> you need to open the Studio. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay. <clears throat> oh my. I also think that uh, let's see. So .NET test here. Okay, just just verifying everything is said and done. I think we wrapped up last time, and you know all the tests has passed. We'll see. Failed. Okay, we have three failed tests. Did I not get latest from? Yeah, last oh. time, Paul hmm. made all the test cases passed. 
I thought he did, yeah. So let's see here. So test explorer. You send a message? Yeah, we should, you know, we should bother him. We should tell him, hey, dude, you know, you you didn't push your code. Did he not push his code? Is that what it is? <laughs> let's see. Oh, did he? I don't, I don't know. know. Let's see. Either either there is some flakiness or he just didn't push the commit. That's okay. Either way, he's probably busy. Let's see. Go. Has some foundation query GCC. Yeah. Yes. If you type O O query, that would be it. Let's see. Just taking a little bit of time. Here we go. Yeah, this guy, yeah, he did actually push his code. You know, I think this is like the internal mock thing. Something is bugging out on the internal mock side, but I think he did push the last thing. So here's what we want to need want to do the next step. The next step here is to basically go and say um, we need to validate this expression, right? So this expression that's coming in, we need to go and say, you know, what is this expression cannot be null, basically, right? Which means that we can take all of this in here and basically go here and say generate generate o query and now we need this new thing okay let's do this so under the models area we have o queries do we have o queries yet we don't good here is o queries And then we need exceptions. Exceptions. And then we have null null o query expression exception. So null o query expression except CL. So that's one. Great. Let's add in copyrights in here. Look, looks like today is gonna be code heavy. Which is fun. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Visual Studio is still asleep. Still on vacation. There you go. See Tor. And here is my base message. Um, uh, expression is null. Hmm. Great. So that's one. All right. Great. Now, control KE. This is done. And then let's go create another one, which is the category. And let's do o query, uh, o query validation exception. Okay, let's do this. Here's the exception. Let's do an exception in here. And here's a public class. And then let's do a CTOR. This guy takes in an inner exception like this. And then here's a base message. And o query validation error occurred fix the errors and try again as this guy and then here's your inner exception right here great done and done okay control ke cleans this shit up let's go back to our uh, validation i need a new file in here to do the validation for us that's another partial for our validations validations here we go and then here is a new test that we need to build to kind of validate that stuff so it's a fact public void should throw validation exception let me zoom in for people watching on their phones uh, on git if expression is null and log it here we go given when then and then here is an expression, null expression, equal null. OK, and then we want null o query expression exception, new null o query expression exception. So that's one. 
and then we also have expected o query validation exception new o query validation exception which will take null o o query exception so far so good now we have an action and this action is get o query action and this action is basically what's going to throw that exception so is your service and get uh, get a query with the null uh, expression passed in and then we want to go and say uh, o query validation exception actual o query validation exception equals assert throws o query validation exception and then I'm passing in the get o query action right here. Okay, so now what's the deal? Actual should be should be equivalent to expected o query validation exception. Great. What else? We want to make sure that our mocked brokers mm -hmm. has never been called. Right. So this is generate get SQL query. It is any expression. We don't care. This guy has never been called, not even once. So times one, never. Like this. And then the last thing here is to basically go and say this dot uh, uh, the mock. So if you do mock in here and then you go say VNO, it will find the verify no other calls. Also, we don't log here because this is a library. So we just say it, it will barf out when it's null. Great. Now let's run this. Sam, get ready. It's your turn. Yeah. This is there's no participation trophy in these sessions. You're gonna write code with me, son. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So what's the error? It's supposed to say null except null reference. Expected. Yes, it didn't match the expected, right? So we expected the O query validation exception. Uh, you guys don't see it because it's a pop-up screen, but uh, if you go here, you can see it in here, right? So expected did not match actual. Okay, Sam, go to town. Here, here's a thin arrow, fail, make it rain. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, fam, let's go. Long time no code. Not long time no code. That's the problem. You gotta need <laughs> you gotta need to move to my team, son. You know, you gotta be writing code every day. No. <laughs> long time means just two hours. Just two hours ago. <laughs> just two hours. <laughs> I mean I mean you're you're the lead engineer on this O data project, so you know, I know I know the amount of stuff that you have to do to kind of get things going, but okay. Here you go. Zoom in a little bit, please, Sam. Better? No. Okay. Let me see the in a while. <laughs> okay. Um, I can I can see it now. Go ahead. Sam. What did you do, Hazard? <laughs> oh, oh I wrote I wrote a failing test, you know, that says you have to validate the thing is uh, is not null. This one, right? Yeah, that's the one. Make sure that it fails on your side too. So run it, control, control RT, and see what happens. That works too. Oh, uh, it's fairly, fairly. Yeah, it should. It's almost like test-driven development. <laughs> so all that uh, this is all that uh, all query. Hmm. So um, get query, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, go to the implementation. Okay. So just make the test case pass or try to reflect some code. Do the same thing, try catch. Yeah, the same thing, Sam. You need you need a function that yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. Try catch. You you may also steal code from other services. Oh uh, yeah, yes. Y yeah. Your internet tripped for a second there. I don't know if it if it's the same thing for you, Etienne, but try catch, right? We can do the same thing. 
Oh, what's happening? Oh, that's a lot of code. Yeah, just get the part that you need. Let me part, copy part... all. <laughs> okay. Uh, order the query service. You're gonna to have to do it by hand at some point in time, so you don't have to, you know, copy pasta because it's prone to errors. You know, maybe not today, but someday, you know. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Try to find the where it is. It's called uh, exception. Okay. Right. Right. So we can call um dot exceptions. Right? Yep. The partial. We don't need this one. And uh, here's it. Um. Don't need all of this one. Mm -hmm. So we need to try catch um, um, running or expression, running or expression function. Running yeah, so you need so you need query. to create like a yeah something something like this. <laughs> okay. Sorry for that. No worries, Sam. Take your time. It's all recorded, so we'll just sit here and watch. Running or curly <laughs> function. Okay. Yeah. So, so instead of this guy value task expression, just have it to return a string. Just take that value task expression and replace it with a string. So just a string. Yeah. Take away the value task. There's no awaitable. Like we're not waiting anything, right? Yes. Um. So it's return only a string. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, running or query function, mm -hmm. not here. Um, here, running or query function. Okay. Bye. Looks yep. good. Yep. Um, I've got a question. Um, go ahead. Is there a reason using a delegate? Oh, uh, you can use action as well, isn't it? Because well, action doesn't work with awaitables. Like action, action, like you can't do a va something that is awaitable for an action. And you can also say, why don't we use func? Func doesn't work with actions. <laughs> so now you're in a situation where you need something common and consistent across the board. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So today. you have no query exception. Uh -huh. No query. Exception. Nice. Okay. And then also the query validation exception. Perfect, Sam. Do control K E. What? Scroll up a little bit. Scroll up and do control K E. Oh, yeah. Control K. Control K E. Yeah. There you go. That's mm -hmm. my brother right there. All right, my man. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, so so you, still, you still need the validation function, though. No, it's not asynchronous, bro. Like, what are you waiting it's for? It's asynchronous, right? No. Take away that. Take it's asynchronous. It, it shouldn't be. <laughs> Why async? Yeah, but that's because there's an awaitable process in here. In here, there isn't. It's, it's synchronous. Really? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Right, there you go. That's Sam right there. The man, the myth, the legend. There you go. Okay. Now what? Now we want to basically go and say... So go go into that try-catch real quick, Sam. Take away the value task out from the try-catch. And the async. And the await. <laughs> There you go. Right? And then take value task from the one above and you're done. I mean, for this part. There you go. 
Okay. Uh, so we need to we need something to throw that exception. Pull pull the. Uh, why don't you do Shift Tab like select these open and close squigglies and do Shift Tab on them. Shift. We need a validate with exception. We need we need validate expression yes but uh, on the logic pull these back a little bit yeah there you go nope it's just validate expression oh because you're validating an expression right here we go validation expression it's the same thing. Yeah, but uh, instead of you validating O expression, you're validating an expression instead. So validation. That's right. So we need a class. Uh, you need a partial, yes. Not validations. Validations. I think you have, yeah. Validation. Validations, yes, validations. There Beautiful. You. Okay. Yeah. So we have validations. Um, That's right. Validations. We do need to say like query service. Two clients. Mm. This one. Uh, we copy this one here. <laughs> mm. So far, okay. Yep. So this partial uh, feature in classes, I couldn't find in any other language so far. This is extremely unique to C Sharp. Yeah, it's quite handy. Yeah. I, I read on the on the documentation what the, the original purpose behind it was was for um, when you have auto auto generate classes. Yeah. Or you express anyone. Uh, and you want to add functionality to it. Yep. That's true. Oh, your your function says O expression say. Yeah, there you go. Pull the dependency. That's right, Etienne. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. You know when you when you rename a variable, if you just do control period, it'll, it'll rename it for you. Everything, right? Yeah. That's okay, nothing. this should work, my friend. Let's run it. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, we validation get. Uh huh. Let's see. There we go, Sam. Did it fail? Running. Oh, it's still running. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> hmm? Ah, it failed. Why did it fail? So it says actual. Ah, go back to your uh, exception oh, handling. It's, it's not so uh, correct. Did you not wrap it? Did you not wrap the exception? No, it's, ah. it, it's no OQL expression. Yeah, null O query expression exception. And then in your in your validation method, what are you throwing? No, no, in the validation method. Validation method. Validation method. Oh. There you um, go. Okay. Exception. Expression exception. Oh, oh talk, no, it's not. Bro. Just... You didn't... It's online. <laughs> no, um, oh, query expression exception. Uh, this one. Mm hmm. I there you to... go. You made it, Sam. 
no, no, it's not passed yet. Yeah, let's let's run the test. Let's see. I have a feeling this time it's going to pass. I don't know. Gut feeling. Could be wrong. Could be right. We'll see. Look, yeah. you made it. Give it back to me. Nice. Yep. Pass. An arrow. Pass. Give it back to me. Perfect. All right, Sam. Here's another one for you. Uh. How long have been? What? What? Side? Do you have to, to go? The code? I don't know. What? It's only five minutes. What? Do you have a meeting in five minutes? No, no, no. I mean, um. Oh, how I long mean, am I gonna take to give you a yeah. failing test? <laughs> to make the test to pass. <laughs> I just yeah. copy and paste the code and change some. Uh, you, keywords. You're gonna you're gonna have to yeah failed O query dependency exception. Oh there he is, Mr. Late Guy. What happened to you? Did Sorry. you think we just did you think we're just gonna sit here and cry and halt? <laughs> no. I know how um, much of a stickler you are for making things look pretty, so I had to uh, tidy up the diagram. <laughs> Hasn't has said Paul is looking for his uh, computer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talk so bad about you, dude. Like it's bad. A oh, query. Uh, uh, it doesn't surprise me. I'm a terrible person. Oh yeah. <laughs> Paul, can you turn your light on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can see. I can you, see don't you. Want, you don't want to see too much of this. It's yeah. It's it's just it's just dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> He has like dead animals laying around. <laughs> you don't know what this guy's up to. <laughs> Sometimes the dog does make me think that. Oh. <laughs> it just crashes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we want? Oh, query dependency exception. There you go. And here is your exception. And here is your this. And exception, C tour, exception, uh, enter exception, base message, uh, O query dependency error occurred. Occurred, by the way, two C's and two R's, just for the rest of you, because I've been fixing that for a while. So I'm sorry that I have to bring that up to your attention, but. Uh, I'm 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 getting a little a little wind up, you know what I mean? <laughs> wound up. Okay, okay, there's a good contact support. Excellent. <laughs> Mr. 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 Uh, Mr. British guy over there. <laughs> there's a cord. What is it? Is that an American versus English thing? <laughs> no idea. I think it's spelled the same in English, so yeah. I don't know what's going on there. You know, you know what I'm gonna do. Just out of spite, I'm gonna do it li this way. Occurred, like that, <laughs> just, just because. You know, just out of spite. Okay, so so let's see. O query service validations. Here's your dependency. Let's go, fam. Let's go. In no time like now. Dependency. This is exceptions. Okay, and we should probably rename this uh, retrieve instead of get, Paul. Just a little note for you, huh? Okay. You don't, okay. don't like the word get? No, we can't say get at the foundation service layer because <laughs> because because it's, it's like DNA. You know what I mean? So throw dependency. So you see, <laughs> um, so so it's like DNA. Like your brokers will say things like uh, insert get. Uh, sorry, select, uh, update, and delete, right? And then your services will say, your services will say add, retrieve, modify, and remove. And then your controllers will say post, get, put, and delete. 
why did I do it this way? It's like DNA in your own service. You can look at the method and you know exactly where it is. You know, it's identifies like every region has its own language or dialect of expressing the same function or capability. You could, you, could uh, uh, you could also read the standard. It's still there. <laughs> good. <laughs> good, good. No, like, uh, like, like when, when, like when, <laughs> hold on, when Paul specifically, see, this is, this is the irony of the, of the world. I have an apostle and his name is Paul. That's hilarious. I'm just, I'm just sitting here like, oh, that's great. <laughs> As Paul's, we're all great. Oh, that's cool. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Failed. Uh, thank you, Sam. A query dependency exception. See? It Who's has the picture. Guy? Put oh, the man. picture on it. You gotta put the picture. How did you guys <laughs> like my, my Moses version of so. I don't know what <laughs> I, I wish I wish <laughs> I was showing it to my team this morning. Your Moses <laughs> representation. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm glad you find it funny. How many? I was, I was wondering if it's have... offensive or something. No. no, I, no I wonder how many turn around. Said, well, you've got a god complex anyway, so it's quite fitting. <laughs> <laughs> More like a prophet. Man. Oh my god. A modern, modern day prophet. Modern, modern, modern day prophet. prophet. That's what it is. There you go. That's what it is. Dependency, exception, and. There you go, Paul. Uh, the 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 entity framework SQL generator will throw DB update exception, wouldn't it? Um, no, it'll only throw those if you actually attempt to update something. What would it, something what would it the throw then? What's an what's an exception that it would throw then? Cannot translate the expression, right? Something similar. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. Be, it's more likely to be a translation exception. Um, when I, I need to know, I need to know what that is, Paul. Yeah, there's a particular type of exception that it throws. So write a link query that you give to EF that doesn't translate to SQL. Something like um, I don't know, an inline bit of like logic that calls into something that doesn't translate to a, a SQL query. Yeah. Um, and if you do that in, I don't know what the exact exception is, to be fair. It's been a while since I've seen it, but it will give you a, an exception. It will read something like can't translate that to a oh, really? SQL statement or something. Yeah, it's it's like a, a an invalid, um, it's like a failed translation exception or something like that. But yeah, it, it might be what you're thinking of, actually. It might treat that as another like DB exception of some sort i'll have to find it out okay let's try it let's go here and do fact uh public void foo and then broker new sql broker so sql query broker with some string or something right and then let's go here and say uh whatchamacallit uh broker dot generate get sql query right and then i don't know null or something right and then let's run this and see what comes from the other side this will be hilarious no it's probably going to be a db update exception i'm going to have fun with the uh entity framework team because no, there's no, no argument no exception you think so so what did it throw new suit new suitable constructor was found for entity of type string. So this is invalid operation. So that's one. Okay, invalid operation. Great. Now let's give it an actual model. O query, for instance, or something like that, or, or O expression. Let's give it that and run again. See what kind of except. You know, Paul, you were supposed to give me all these exceptions, right? Well, you know I have to do <laughs> half a job, right? I've uh -huh. been taught by the best to only do half a job at a time, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> the the requires primary key. Oh, let's let's remember that because if it doesn't have a primary key, it's not going to generate. This is still an invalid operation exception. No, it doesn't. Dude, um, I I just got the error. Well, if oh, you look at if you look at the test that I wrote when I first implemented it, I know I thought you avoided that somehow. Yeah, it has no key right here. Yeah. So why did it not 
do that. I think there's some weird quirks with EF. If like a model's not recognized, it goes down some strange paths. So like okay. if you get past that by um, saying, oh, it has a key, then it will say, oh, actually, no, it's not part of the, the data model. You need to make sure you add it. Right. Uh, but even something like that, like even when you tested this, you weren't testing it with something that has a key in it. I remember that very well, but right. I could be wrong. I'll go back to previous recordings and see what that looks like. But let's just see here. What Try else can get our fake person class? Just give it because that that is defined in our like test thing, isn't it? A fake what? Repeat that. Um, I'm sure I'm sure there was like a fake like person class that I created for one of my tests. Well, it's not in this code base anymore where this is production. Right. Oh, uh, is it all been pulled out? Yeah, I had like a personal student or something like uh, that. Do it fine. Let's do it. Go with ID. Here you go. So here's your student. We're gonna we're gonna need to fix that problem though because although for the most part I know that people will be kind of passing things with IDs in them because why wouldn't they? Uh, however, I I do expect someone someone to pass in something that doesn't have an ID. Okay, what's the error that we got now? The error is uh, unable to cast object of type blah to blah. Great. Invalid cast exception. There it is. So that's the second one. Okay, so just invalid operation and invalid cast. That's as far as I can take it, you know, in terms of expressions. Okay, great. Let's do that. Let's go back into the test here and let's say public static um, uh, theory data, uh, dependency exceptions, and then let's go ahead and return new theory data of exceptions, and this will have invalid operation exception, and the the other one will be invalid. What what it what is it called? Invalid cast. There you go. Beautiful. Now I can go back onto the exceptions area. I can throw all that junk away. Oh, just just create an issue for it to investigate uh, the ID thing, please. Member data, name of, and here is your dependency exceptions. There you go. And then we need an exception. So that's your dependency exception. There you go. And then we're going to take this guy that's going to be your inner. And then we just need to mock the dependency. So there's dot mock set up and then here's your broker broker dot get sql query it is any expression like this and this guy throws the dependency exception hey sam are you ready it's coming for you once here you go Do me again it's coming for you i'm sending it back to you or Paul, actually. Paul should write some code sometime. Oh. Uh, Paul, do you want to write That's code today? That's a good idea. It's for Paul. Hey, Paul, do you want to write some code? I can do, yeah. I mean... Mm. If you're not familiar with it, we can teach you. <laughs> C-sharp from oh. scratch. I created the newcomers channel in the standard community no, for I'm you. I'm not familiar with it. Paul, familiar with <laughs> Okay, this guy's throwing, yeah. There you go, Paul, you can do it. So I should throw dependency exception on get if, if dependency error occurs. Occurs, I think occurs is with two C's and one R. I'm trying to navigate, trying, trying really hard. Uh, okay, let's do it. So here is, here is this, here is a fail. Let's go, let's go. Take it. You have a failing test, son. Did you find a real studio? If not, I can do that. He's going to need to find real studio. <laughs> uh, uh. 
I might need to install it and then like spend some time figuring out how to um, use GitHub and stuff like that. So I'm just okay. Right. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just doing a. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I didn't fully push yet. Hold on, Paul. S sad, sad situation. I was going to wait a little and just like have you kind of spin in circles. Okay, listen, dude. We we don't all wear magnifying glasses, so you're going to have to fix your, your font because this is not working. <laughs> yes. Have you guys considered buying screens? Like a 4K. Dude, yeah. listen, listen. I I have a forty nine inch arc screen, so don't talk to me about screens. You know, it's not gonna take you anywhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. I bet that's only like fourteen forty p though, isn't it? Isn't it like four k wide and forty three no, p high? No, no, fifty fifty two thirty by fourteen forty, something like that. I'll share the uh, window instead. There you go. Because you know. Quickly, you share the code before, yeah, because you got bigger on the screen, and now I, I just, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you were bothered by my logo. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> right, where's the test? The standard, the standard, standard. flies. You need to get Why? Down. You have a different color. No, no, it's just your camera, brother. It's the same color. It's a... You, you just, you just have a funny camera. That's all. Really? Yeah. Color is different in America. This is this is the your, real your color. Book, yeah, your book looks your book looks yellow. Yellow. Yeah, it does. But but my book is green. Is green. I see trees of green. No, it's roses not my too. camera. I think it's that. <laughs> the way the way Paul is running these tests is not you know promising me. But uh, let's see. There you go, Paul. You can do it. <clears throat> okay. All right. So just just check validate thing. validate expression. We want to validate the expression, do we? No, no, we've already done that. This is different. This is you reacting to exceptions that are coming from your dependency. Hmm? Yeah, so that's what I thought. I'll yeah, you just need catch, to catch right? them. Yep, yep. You just need the, a couple of catch blocks. Nice. Not here. Under, under. You can't under. actually... Like, you need, you need to honor the chronological order. You'll never get these exceptions before the null. Because the null check happens before you actually call the dependency. All right. What were the two exceptions again? If there is, if, if there was only a test that tells us that, <laughs> there, <laughs> there must be a place in our code. <laughs> go, go to the yeah dependency exceptions. <laughs> oh That's, my god! Why, why is it not showing? It. Where's the rest of it, Hassan? Just go to the solution the... explorer. Find the good... Yeah, there you go. Find solution explorer. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Did it's you commit it? Exception get. Let's go. Oh, he doesn't even have the auto select for the file that he's on. Did you? Did you just? Did you just install this instance of Visual Studio, Paul? Yeah, like a couple of weeks ago, and I just like left it stock i haven't changed anything to it it's a clean install <laughs> come on son i don't have all day let's go <laughs> oh we the... service test yes where's the file i need this one, this is one. There. here we go <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> to stop this. why are you guys <laughs> they just pick up me all the time i don't know why i come to these things <laughs> <laughs> so mean. Don't cry. Sam is, <laughs> Sam is like, what did I get myself in? <laughs> okay. Oh, God. 
right, so this is gonna what's, be, what, uh... what's that Hungarian notation that you just did? We kind of get get angry with that. We get angry. We get angry with that. <laughs> angry. <sighs> Invalid. Say, say it, say it, say it, Paul. Invalid what? Invalid what? Invalid Hassan exception. <laughs> That's what it says right there. He would he would That's tell you funny. invalid cost exception. <laughs> <laughs> that that is all you, man. That is all you. You you say that car cost exception. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, okay. instead of throwing O query validation, it's supposed to be a query dependency exception. All right, fair enough. Y you can do it, I trust you. But before that, you need to localize these exceptions. You need to create a new variable called failed O query dependency exception. Uh, what, in the catch? Yes, var failed O query. O query dependency exception. Let's go, let's go. Equals new. What's the internal? Literally o failed O query dependency exception. Bro. Line 25, 24. You just named the variable. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Break it down for me, please, because, you know, I'm having a heartburn. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> See? Not better? We, we, should, we, should put, we should put, like... 120. We should, we should put adults only for participating in these sessions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be into You have yeah, no one turn up. <laughs> No, you yeah. can take part. No one is going to turn up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's do it. Look at you. Look at you go. So proud of you. Put a new line between the throw and the... Yeah, there you go. You know. Now run the test. That's it, son. You made it. Good for you. <laughs> wow, mm. I think I've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> How many cold Lord, does it take? Lord, bear me mercy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, commit it. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. That's you better not. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm going to rewrite your for? whole history uh -huh. on this branch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's this? This is a foundation, isn't it? Foundation. No, just put the test name thin arrow pass. What? <sighs> oh, God, you poor, poor. Oh, God. He's he's doing this on purpose. He knows he's doing this. He knows this very well, but he's just do th thin arrow, dude, like minus. <laughs> minus dash. A little bit e with <laughs> a thin arrow. <laughs> All done. All right, the last one here. Thank thank you. You made it so easy and simple for me. But <laughs> yikes. God help us all. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so this is <laughs> you got you guys are right enough go. That's the problem, I know. <laughs> So here we go. Uh, let's see. Failed. I know you can't see this. What's uh, code again? <laughs> service exception. Here we go. Ah, uh, let's do this. Public. Uh, let's see. Exception. And this is this is one of these good good occasions, Paul, where we can kind of. Um, oh well, in this case, we have a dependency, so we don't have to worry much. What? Exception. Move free. Sam's got a drink or something. Right? Failed. All query service. Error occurred. Contact support. Enter. Here you go. It'll be interesting to kind of distinguish between user generated errors and 
because if the expression is not right, does that mean the user figured out a way to break through our... We have uh, more exception coming? Just one more. All query service <laughs> exception. It's almost like these exceptions kind of make your uh, your maintenance time a lot less, like 10x less than your your typical enterprise system. Like, like literally by reading the method name or the exception name, you already know exactly where it is and what happened. See, so we take the, we take a little bit of time to do a lot of this work during development, so we don't have to run around in circles. You know, service error occurred, contact support. Some of us do. The rest of us just slack off and write normal stacks and just uh -huh. guess where the problem is. Uh huh. I mean, I mean, here's the thing. There are two options. We could write tests, or we could exercise care. <laughs> Let's just exercise. Or, or, and hear me out here, we could do what every business on the planet does, rush like hell to production, don't test anything, and mm. just rely on the users to test everything. Mm, mm, that's the dream right there. You just, you just talked about dreams. You just talked about dreams right here. Okay, so this is a fact. Sam, get ready. It's your turn. Version okay. one's basically a beta test anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, why are we testing? Like, what's the point? There's no point. Yeah, in a big application, you get to appreciate these tests a lot, especially when I'm trying to pull something up and you know help people kind of see something real quick. Oh yeah, big time service exception. Especially when you leave the application for a while and come back to it, and you want to know if it's solid. You never have to ask that question of whether your application is ready to run or not because you have acceptance tests. They tell you exactly what happened. So this is that. What I have found um, rebuilding our systems using the standard is that um, there's a lot of operations that were considered to be quite um, complicated. And users mm -hmm. were sort of scared of, and it would take a long time to debug anything to do with them. Mm -hmm. And with the granularity we have now, you can almost, well, you literally can go into the thing that's the problem, write yep. a new unit test, yep. and, and you're just calling that one little bit of code instead of having to worry about all the stuff that needs to go on around it in order to get to that bit of code. Yep, that's, that's exactly it. I was explaining this to Etienne yesterday, like, take a look at our last session from yesterday, um, just how we are breaking even the components in UI. There's a player, there's a turn, and then you put them together, it becomes a player turn, and then you take all that, it becomes a move, like a match move. It's just a different way to think things, you know? I decided to reuse my stupidity into uh, a way to simplify the world, and it's working great. So here, let's go. Sam, last one. Create the pull request and call it done. Gee, that was fun. Three minutes on the clock. Let's do it, son. You Sam. Look at that, Sam. We're actually writing code. I don't know what's going on. I think we need a new job now. This is it. We're done. Huh? I'm sharing. Okay. Cool. Scroll my code. That's so bright. Yeah. <laughs> my face is slow. Like... I, I really, I, I tried. Sam, why don't you use dark mode, bro? Like, okay, this is an intervention. This is not about our data. I need right to get UV prediction, right? <laughs> Second the intervention. <laughs> Where's the code? Sam, where, where... be a normal developer. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, did you just say, where's the code? <laughs> where's the code? <laughs> okay, so it's exception, okay? This is hilarious. This is your new code. Um. <laughs> oh, clearly. So catch, right? Yeah, that's that's that would be the right thing to do. Yes. Exception. How to spare exception? I'll just type it. It'll type it for you. <laughs> just hit tab a few times. <laughs> Code yeah. file. It will deal with it. <laughs> A little dick. Let's do it. And then you need to localize. <laughs> Look up Paul's face. Let me. This one here. 
Field. Yeah. Wait, that's your point. Actually. I think you put um, awesome targeted in strings when you raise exceptions, don't you? What is yeah. it, Paul? Okay. The strings that you put in when you raise new exceptions. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, you, you hard code those. Okay. Do you yes. not drive them from resources then? No, except uh, unless I'm doing localization, then I would. Oh, okay. So yeah. do you get somebody to do the localization, come in like behind you basically and refactor all the code of the resources? Yeah, MVP. Oh, create a that scooter. Must be so nice having yeah. like people for that. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I need to get a job in a bigger company, man. <laughs> you should. You should. You should come work with us at Microsoft. You really should. You know, especially on my team. I'll make sure you work. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the problem, though. They pay proper salaries, and they expect you to actually work for a living. God, who does that? <laughs> it's a dream. Living the dream. Okay, Sam. Shoot. Let's go. Let's do it. Running. It's running, right? You need a better machine, son. That's You're killing laptop. me smalls. Surface laptop three. Okay. He's still you waiting to... to find the code. You need to get <laughs> you need to... <laughs> you need to get the surface studio, Sam. There you go. Okay, Sam, do you want to create a pull request for us? Okay. Um, pass. Pass. That's it. Push and push. Create a pull request. You can create it straight from Visual Studio. You know that, right? You initialize push. There we go. There it is. Guys, we made it. That's another service that just goes right in. So um, I guess I guess Wednesday we start the orchestration service. Sam, we don't say your your web page. Hmm. You don't see your web page. Oh, let me share it. Um, stop sharing, share screen. Share screen, Windows, which one? Compare is this one? Where is your screen? I think this one, right? Is it? Is this the uh, right? That's the that's the that's the right one. That's it, Sam. You just need to make it uh, uh, non-draft. So go to view pull request. View pull request. Just make it non-draft, and that's it. Non draft. I don't know. I don't know who's the brother that approved the pull request when we're not even done with There's the There's a button. I'll scroll down a little. Scroll down a little more. Ready. Ready for review. Ready for review. Ready for review. Okay. That's it. Thank you all. I appreciate you all. This is good work. I'll uh I'll take a quick I'll take a quick look at it and see. Who is this guy? I have no idea. I have no idea. Why is by just, default, just, just he's a pro though. So, <laughs> Paul, yeah, and uh, where's, Tommy. where's you? I, I'm I don't know because I'm the one who created the pull request, so you should add yourself. That's it. But to review, I'm I'm a figment of your imagination, Sam. That's what it is. Are oh, you created okay. the pull request? Yes, that's that's what I was saying. <laughs> All right, why is you? <laughs> <laughs> because I because... did is a I create a pull request, right? No, when when we when we work on a pull request, I put it in draft mode. Usually, when you do that in larger teams, so people would review a work in progress and get an early feedback before you actually merge in. It's a nice strategy, right? Nice. Anyway, Never yeah, it works great when you're like in a two thousand engineers team. It works great, you know. So yeah. anyway. Thank you all so very much. Oh. I appreciate you. What is it, Sam? What is oh, it? so you created a pull request a couple of days ago. Okay. Yeah, so I can take credit for your work. It's yeah. corporate. And uh, he so, is this guy approved. Let people do all the work and let the manager take credit. That's oh. how it works. Thanks, <laughs> time.
<laughs> Look at him. <laughs> all right, guys. I have to run. Thank you all so very at much. At least he's Thank honest, you. I suppose. <laughs> Absolutely. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Hit the like button.